What's going on guys? John AK Homescope here back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up all your stream graphics on OBS. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now this is something that I actually get asked pretty frequently, especially in my Twitch streams and when I'm making graphics for people, they end up not knowing how to set it up properly. So I end up having to sit in a Discord call with them or I'll just break it down with them through Twitter DMs. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I make an actual YouTube video on how to do it? That way everyone can kind of go reference this video and it'll just be universal for anyone that actually needs it. I also want to add that even though I'm working with OBS in this video, you can also do all of these things with Streamlabs OBS if you prefer to use that. It might look a little bit different with certain things, but for the most part, you'll be able to follow right through just fine. So for this demonstration today and for this video I'm actually going to use stream graphics that I made for one of my clients it's uh, chased or C chase I don't really know how he wants it to be pronounced but basically all the graphics are there it's going to be the stream starting soon screen the webcam overlay the intermission and the transition and I'm gonna show you guys how to set all that up properly so that way it can run smoothly on your stream all right guys so here we are in OBS and right now I'm gonna break down each one of these scenes and how to implement them so that way your stream looks great and that these graphics actually work properly so first we're gonna start with the stream starting soon screen uh, so you click this plus sign in the bottom left of the scenes panel and right here you can enter the name so we're gonna do stream starting soon click OK and then in the bottom left of the sources panel you can actually add in a media source and now this is going to be the actual graphic and I'm choosing media source because this is actually animated and this is an mp4 file if you wanted something that was just an image say you just had a png or a jpeg that just happened to be your stream starting soon screen which was a still image you can actually uh, choose this option which is image but for this example we're going to choose media source because this is indeed animated so right now I'm going to put SSS for stream starting soon Create new, and I'm gonna find the file. And I have everything saved in this chase uh, folder here. So we're gonna go to stream starting soon screen, click on the actual MP4 file, click open. Now it's not actually previewing, but if you click loop right here, this is gonna ensure that when it, the full 30 seconds of the animated stream starting soon screen plays out, it's not just gonna stop. It's gonna start right back from the beginning. So all you need to do is click looped speed, 100%, that's fine, and just click okay. And the stream starting soon screen is gonna be there and it should fill out the whole screen so long as the sizing was done properly. If you wanna actually have some of your gameplay audio play in the background, I would recommend going to the plus and I actually have my PlayStation in the background already. So here, I'll click video device, video capture device two and you'll see this is where my PlayStation happens to be. If I drag that on the sources panel right here, below stream starting soon, that means that the PlayStation won't show up, but the audio will actually be playing in the background if you want it to. You could also mute it right here if you don't want it to play, and then if you want to play it maybe uh, like a minute into your stream starting soon, so you can turn it on right there. So that's how you do the stream starting soon part. Next up, we have the intermission screen, which is uh, pretty much the same thing. We're just gonna add in one more little element. So again, going to the bottom left here, typing intermission. Okay, so now we have the scene there that's intermission. And again, we're going to the sources panel and adding media source because this one is also animated. So we'll do intermission, create new, okay. Okay, well, because the, the scene name is also intermission, we'll do intermission layer. That way it's not the same name as the scene. So again, browse, here we will go to the intermission scene like the mp4 and again loop so that way it doesn't end at 30 seconds but goes on forever that again is the only thing that we need so then we have the intermission screen right here and we see the animated elements now uh for chase we only have the webcam so uh right here we're gonna go to video capture device create new do webcam layer click ok and then we're actually gonna choose from the devices our webcam so right now we will do the C920, which I have set up right over here. I'm gonna click okay, because there's not really much that we need to change with that right now. And I'm actually gonna stretch out so that way it fills out the box that it's gonna be and drag the webcam layer below the intermission. So now the webcam is actually showing up right in the little box. And that's how you set up the intermission screen. Now, again, if you actually did wanna add in the PlayStation audio or if you had a uh, different gameplay audio, that's where you would add in the layer on the sources panel and drag it right below hand. Next up, we have our gameplay scene, which is gonna include your webcam overlay. Now there's an actual common problem that happens with a lot of streamers that they don't know how to fix, but there's actually a very simple solution that I'm gonna show you guys today. And so once we get to that problem, you'll see it. So here we go, gameplay scene, click okay. And then we click 
new sources. And here we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. So choose a media source. We're going to create new. It's going to be webcam overlay. Sorry, I can't spell today. Webcam overlay. And then we choose from our local files which folder is actually in. So here we have webcam overlay. Choose to open it. And then we click loops to make sure that it doesn't go away after those 30 seconds that it is playing a video, an animated video. So there we go. That's our webcam overlay. And now we choose a uh, a new source and we choose video capture device. Now here we click add existing because our webcam layer is already there from our intermission screen. So we click webcam layer, click OK, and then we have our webcam. And now we use the bounding boxes all around the webcam to resize it to make sure that it fits in the parameters of your webcam overlay. Now we actually want to drag our webcam below the overlay and then we want to lock the overlay. Now here's the problem that I was talking about where your webcam will actually kind of go over the border of your webcam overlay and it'll be kind of frustrating. And for a long time, I wasn't sure how to fix this. And I always thought that I was just sizing it wrong or that like something was wrong with my webcam because it was just a straight up box. But one thing that I learned that was a very simple trick. If you see these four boxes right here, only the, the top, bottom, left and right ones, when you're actually selected on your webcam, if you hold alt and click on these, it will crop your webcam. So that way it can fit right in with your webcam overlay and pretty much with any other size that you need to and i mean you can get really creative with that but basically if there's any time where like oh no it's too far out to the right then you hold all click to drag it in and then it's perfect now the last part would be adding in if you're gaming on pc then you can do display capture or game capture you just create the new source whatever you need to and then you would drag it below your webcam and then the same thing if you're gaming on console and you had uh your already existing layer where your PlayStation was showing, then you would drag that below. And there we go, there's your gameplay scene. Now you can obviously adjust the sizing if you need to, because this would look too big. Make sure that the layer is unlocked. And there you go, there is your gameplay scene. All right, guys, now we are at the last piece of the puzzle, which just so happens to be the transition. Now, this one is very simple, but also has some complicated elements. I'm gonna try and break it down very simply. So that way you guys can do it every single time. So right here we have scene transitions for OBS and you would actually choose add stinger. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna show you in Streamlabs OBS where that setting is because it doesn't look the same. If you click scenes right here, there is edit scene transitions. So it's this gear right above your scenes panel and that will actually break down everything that you need. So it's the same thing right here. You add a new stinger transition. And so ours is gonna be transition final. Click OK, and then we're gonna be able to choose the video file. So we click browse, and then we choose what folder it's in. And so the video file is there. We wanna change the transition point type to frames because it's actually gonna be 30 frames per second. That's how I made the transition itself. And so if it's 30 frames per second, and at the one second mark, the transition is actually happening, that means that at 30 frames is where we want the transition to happen because at that, 30, at that first second, when it hits 30 frames, that's when the whole screen is covered and you can't see the video happening behind it. Uh, basically, it, it's covering up the screens so that way when the transition happens, it doesn't see the camera, the camera's moving. So basically, we go here and we choose monitor and output to make sure that the audio from the transition is actually playing. And now we can actually scroll down and choose preview transition. And so you can see that the scenes are actually changing behind the transition and you never see that it's actually happening. So we click OK and that should be that should be fine. Now we'll actually test it out on some of the different scenes. So we'll click stream starting soon. Now we go to intermission. There we go, perfect. And the transition is all set. All right guys, so that's how you set up your graphics for OBS and Streamlabs OBS. There might be still a little bit of speed bumps with Streamlabs, but for the most part, it should still work pretty smoothly. If you guys have any questions regarding this video or content like this, say that maybe I moved too fast during this video and you want me to break down something a little bit more, or if you wanna see more content similar to this where I'm actually breaking down graphics and how they work in OBS and for your stream in general, please leave a comment down below because I would love to hear some feedback. And also, if you guys wanna stop in my Twitch streams, links down in the description below. I'm live Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights, and you can ask me questions right there live regarding this stuff. I love talking about it. So I'd uh, be more than happy to help you with any questions that you have. Again, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you stopping in. And again, leave any questions if you have anything. And yeah, that's it. Love, peace, and chicken grease.